four or five months I've been using it. I've I've been using you know the iHans a lot, and I used the. I've been doing some work on on on, on other products as well, like uh, I've done some Vivity as well, and um, and uh, I've done um, uh, quite a lot. Uh, I must have done at least uh, some, over a hundred. I know I've got data of 40 patients <laughs> bilateral, but I've done it also, I've also combined it where I use it uh, in, in the dominant eye of patients. And then I combine it with a multifocal or trifocal lens on the, on the non-dominant eye. So, but on, on my, I know that I've got data of 40 patients uh, that were bi bilateral. Well, I think, you know, uh, as we all know, that the trifocal lenses um, cause, uh, uh, you know, halos and glare dysphotopsia. And I believe that in my experience is that if, you, if you're using a, a extended depth of focus lens in the dominant eye, uh, then the, the halo effect is much less uh, in the patient than when you're using it bilaterally, much less. In fact, I don't get people that complain about day low and clear. Uh, in the dominant eye, I'm, I'm, I'm aiming zero as well. But in the non-dominant eye, I have found that aiming minus 0 0.75 is adequate. So my uncorrected vision uh, uh, bilateral is 20-20 in these cases. And also for distance, uh, best corrected acute is also 2020. At um, um, uncorrected at near at 40 centimeters is 2040, and uh, it's 2025 for near at 50 centimeters. And if I use a plus one add in those patients, it gives me 2020 at 40 centimeters. So that's incredible, and I find that that is more than adequate. For, for, for the majority of patients. And these results were done at between six and 12 weeks. You know, you get uh, patients that are, are, are uh, myopic. Those patients, I, I target uh, more uh, like a mini monovision. And then that's when I would uh, change my target for the non-dominant I2 minus, uh, minus one or minus 1.25 max. Because those people are, they, they actually like to, 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 to pull documents close out of habit. And they do very well on, on, on that. And, and, and my group of patients that, that were myopic and that, that were uh, uh, used to monovision, and they are, I also ask them, what are you doing now? Because they're walking there with glasses and then I, tell, and I ask them the question, what are you doing when you read? Or do you take your glasses off when you read? And those people most commonly say to me, yes, they take their glasses off because they see better up close. And for those patients, I aim minus one or minus 1.25 in the, in the non-dominant eye. And there I found also my, even my, my, well, I found my uncorrected distance, 2020 on average for those patients, uh, best corrected vision, also 2020, of course. And their uncorrected near vision at 40 centimeters was better. It's like 2025. And, um, and if they, even if, if they, uh, like at 50 centimeters, we found them to be 20, 2020. At, 50 centimeters, at 40 centimeters, we found in 2025, which was marginally better than, than the patients that we were aiming minus 0 0.75. And, and in that series of patients, we had 100%. And even in the other one as well, we had 100% that no, nobody required uh, the readers by not All these cases have been done with flags. So I, I'm, used, I'm even correcting small amounts of astigmatism. That's probably why my results are so very good. So I, I correct astigmatism from um, minus 0.5 upwards. 
to about two doctors. The first thing, of course, is um, I establish whether they really want to be spectacle free for near. That's the first thing. So for a patient that is predominantly doing uh, uh, com uh, computer work, this lens and this, this modus operandi of mine and target refraction that I'm going for is perfect for that patient. I tell them that, you know, for very small print at night, they would require a plus one. And that 95% of the time they won't need, and particularly in good light, they won't need glasses at all. And they accept that. And um, so it's, if somebody's, if somebody's uh, uh, doing a, a, a fair amount of uh, very near tasks, say uh, at 40 centimeters, um, like reading, you get sometimes you get people that are working on the computer, plus they're reading as well uh, a lot. So like, you sometimes get accountants that have to read fine print or with somebody like say an architect or somebody like that who, who also needs a near vision fine print. Those are the pe persons that I'll do my custom match technique on where I'm using the EMV in the dominant eye and the liberty in the other eye. So the trifocal liberty is a very good uh, vision at, at 40 centimeters for the fine print. And it's rarely that they, that they do need uh, something. It's just sometimes in poor light at night that people uh, need uh, a little bit of enlargement. And then the plus one is adequate for that. So, so I, I try and establish mostly if it's, if, it's, if it's an outdoor person, more sport and things like that, a little bit of computer work. I mean, everybody's reading a tablet and, uh, or a cell phone, and, and that's more or less at 40, 50 centimeters. 